Hello everyone, this video is a quick demonstration of the uh, USB mods I've done to my new PlayStation Vita. Uh, this is a OLED 3G model that uh, has an added micro USB port for charging in place of the SIM slot and a full-size USB port for data transfer and game loading and such. The micro USB port can be used to charge the console with any regular USB charger and also to transfer data to and from the computer. So as you can see it works just like the original port without the hassle of the proprietary cable. The full-size USB is a different thing entirely. It is actually used to connect external storage devices to the PlayStation Vita. The port is located at the bottom in order to make it look uh, as unobtrusive as possible. It is usually shut off, but there is a 5-volt USB uh, regulator inside that can be turned on and provides roughly 5 volts on the output. Uh, as you can see, I have installed Assassin's Creed 3 on a USB thumb drive. So now the drive is not connected and the console is saying that the file is corrupt, which of course is not true, it's just missing. Uh, I can launch Vita Shell. There's a modified version of Vita Shell 1.62. I can then mount the USB drive. There you go. And then you can trick the system into believing that the external USB drive is uh, the internal memory card, similarly as it is done on the PlayStation Vita TV to use external hard drives. And I can now load games saved on it. And it will work just fine. So this is a perfectly viable way to load media and games uh, onto a much cheaper form of store storage than the um, proprietary memory cards which have outrageous prices right now and are almost impossible to find. So I'm currently stuck with a 4 gig one and uh, this way I can install all the games I want directly onto my USB thumb drive and even remove it when I'm not playing them. The game does load fine and doesn't take more time than it usually would if it was loaded onto the memory card. And when you're done, you can just go back into Vita Shell, hit triangle, and unmount the USB device. Okay, you can now safely remove it. I'll talk briefly about what parts needed to be removed in order to fit the uh, USB port and the regulator. First and, first and foremost you have to remove the uh, SIM tray if you want to add the micro USB port. Then I removed the um, 3G card and its support and antenna cables. And the 3G antenna which takes up a reasonable amount of space at the bottom right here where I fit the switch and USB port. Uh, I did use 
in a t tiny board with its components removed for the USB port but you can just buy uh, one of these USB breakout boards on AliExpress or any other website really uh, they're pretty cheap and they give you pads that you can solder directly to for uh, VCC data lines and ground and as for the booster modules to achieve 5 volts uh, I used one of these little 2 amp MT3608 uh, modules. This is a bit wide, so I had to cut off part of the PCB. Uh, but that's just because that's what I had. You can use one of these smaller modules, which uh, only provide 1 amp, but that's decent enough for what you have to do. Uh, and that's about it. I'll now show you the insides. Um, Okay, so this is the normal layout of a PlayStation Vita. And what I did is I took out the micro SD, sorry, the uh, SIM slot. And this is the first test fit for the micro USB uh, board that you can see now occupies the space that was previously uh, used by the SIM card tray. This is the motherboard. At the bottom here, uh, where the dock port is located, you can see this small component, which I'll zoom in on so you can get a better look at it. Okay, these points right here are the USB data lines that you need to connect for the mod, and here is how they look like with wires soldered to them and I will not lie it is extremely hard to do it and there is a decently high chance that you will break um, your USB port if you do this so do this at your own risk if you decide to do it and be wary of the dangers uh, this is how the board looked like with all the cables mounted on there was a little bit of plastic that had to be removed on the back to make the cables route more freely through the console um, and this is how it looked like just previously to reassembly. Again, uh, here you can see the USB data lanes connected together with the positive and negative wires. Now for the um, USB host port, Okay, this is how it was done. Uh, I removed the 3G card and measured the voltage, which turned out to only be roughly 4 volts, which tells me uh, that the slot was only being provided battery level voltage right here, and I would need a booster if I wanted 5 volts. So this is the pin where I'm measuring in order to get uh, the positive voltage and then you can hook up to any negative pad like here or here. Uh, this is a look at how the console looked like while I was testing uh, the USB port. This up here is the booster module connected to the uh, mini PCI Express slot. And again, here's a different shot of the same thing. And this is the console all wired up uh, and ready to be reassembled. These two wires are the positive and negative data lanes for a USB. The blue wire is obviously negative and the other one is positive. This wire right here is the uh, power negative going to the booster module and this up here is the positive going to a switch which is located on the bottom left of the console and when this switch is turned on it enables the 5 volt booster module which then goes directly to the USB port together with the 
uh, positive and negative data lanes. This is done so that you can save power when not using the USB port by turning off the booster module and also so that you can unmount and mount uh, the um, USB thumb drive more easily. And really this is about it. And I had a wonderful chat with um, this guy on Twitter who is the genius who provided the pinout for uh, the mod and you can see it uh, on his Twitter account. He was probably the first to experiment with an external USB mod on the PlayStation Vita. So this is not uh, just an internal card for a micro SD connection or anything else. It is a proper um, USB port added into the PlayStation Vita. So you can go to his Twitter accounts and uh, look for development on this kind of modification, which is absolutely fantastic. And it really, really is interesting. Uh, he is currently working on a way to have both a micro SD um, reader integrated into the PlayStation Vita and a port to directly uh, connect to the integrated SD card from a computer without having to remove the SD from the PlayStation Vita itself. Uh, it's still in development, but uh, I think we'll have great news from him in the future. Um, so yeah, I think that about wraps it up. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, hit me in the comments if you'd like to know more about this mod and